Alex, enjoy that beer. Congratulations. And still, 20th straight win. And I just gave you the news that you got fight of the night. Not a bad night at the office, hey? Yeah, yeah, can't argue with that. Uh, obviously, I wanted a, a quick fight. I would have liked to get the finish. I thought we almost had it in the third round. Well, he would have thought he almost had me in the third round too. But, hey, uh, at least we, we put on a wall, put on a performance for everyone. Everyone enjoyed it, so I'm happy. I think this could be fight of the year, depending on what happens the rest of the year. Absolutely oh, incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to still, you, you were in it, but we were the ones that watched it. I can tell you it was absolutely phenomenal. Let's talk about that third round. Obviously, I mean, how's your neck, for one thing? Your head looked like it was going blue, but unbelievably, you got out. Mate, it was, uh, the guillotine was tight. Very, very tight. Uh, I've never been in a tight submission like that in a fight, uh, probably ever. So, like, it was like, is this it? Am I losing the belt here? It was like that close. But again, obviously, adversity, I'm used to that. I'm going to obviously keep pushing. Uh, managed to just make a bit of space, and I'm like, oh, all right, we're good here. And then it obviously slipped out. But uh, hey, a lot of people would have gave up. I guarantee you. It was deep, very deep. It was like, oh, I think we're going to go out now. This isn't good. That's where we were, but kept fighting. Lasted a couple extra seconds and, and we got out so again adversity putting yourself in these positions uh you, it's got to be done preparation is where it's all at and we did a great job uh, in preparation for this one and i'm very thankful to, to still be here with the belt absolutely and brian actually said afterwards that's why you're the champ you know you were you said you were slippery you got out and the shaved head must have contributed towards that little sure, bit i made sure we got the what is it the, like the thing what do we call what do you call that thing the buzzing <laughs> we did that today because i was like you never know we might be in a deep guillotine uh what a Get that out. So, uh, yeah, so it worked. And it paid off. And The Rock as well complimented you on the new, the new hairstyle. So you'll probably be keeping it. the fight or before? Well, this before, was before. Yeah, before. I'm sure he complimented yeah, the fight well, too. See, well, hey, see, The Rock, see? This is another reason why we should be bald. <laughs> Look, let's talk about the end. Yeah, you said at the end of the third, you thought you had it finished. And actually, Brian stayed on the, the canvas a few seconds after that round as well. Clearly very fatigued. But he didn't ever give up, and he was still dangerous mm. the whole way. Were you, were you surprised at, I mean, you knew he was durable and tough, but you were surprised at the way, you know, you, you couldn't put him away in that sense. Yeah, and I was very surprised. He's obviously tough. Uh, there was times where I thought he was done, and then I was landing, he, he, big shots were landing, and I think, oh, here we go. Next minute, he's thrown back up, and he's back into it. And I'm like, man, you serious? Still throwing a submission up. So I was like, man, you've got to give respect to him. You know I mean? Obviously, I was uh, cutting weight, hot-headed, and, you know, and... I'd be a little agitated with him, so, you know, and said things that, you know, I wouldn't usually say, but, I mean, hey, that's a part of the business. Uh, I told him, look, sorry about the shit, but, hey, we, we had some fun in there, so it's all good. But, I mean, uh, yeah, that third round, I was a bit, uh, don't know why they, like, I gave him so much time, even when he come off the stool for the fourth round, I think it was, uh, to check him. He's, like, they're asking him questions, he's not answering him, he's looking the wrong way. He was completely out of it. And I'm like, that's it, he's done. Like, you can't just... Or we're going to wait till he answers it right? Or like, what are we doing here? Because he answered the first first five questions completely wrong. Oh, let's just wait till he answers it right, and then we'll, we'll move on. That's exactly what happened. But and then he comes in and he's and he's he's back into it. So credit to him, man. He's tough. Uh, enough, he earned my respect. I said that uh, he doesn't deserve to be here, but he showed that he does. Okay, so there's there's respect there between the two. I always yeah. think when two people have shared an octagon for that amount of time, despite well, what's gone. Go five rounds of absolutely killing each other. Yeah, you're going to earn some respect. So he, uh, he gave me a, a few stitches as well. So good on him. We can see those and I hope they heal up. Look, you said to me yesterday, actually, post weigh you said, actually, this version of you that's kind of a bit of animosity and beef towards someone could be a dangerous version. I think that might be the case. Might this be the mentality going into future fights? Tell you what, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I might be the heel from now on. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, you know, and I'll be uh, in everyone. In terms of um, what comes next, I mean, you've you've got some healing up to do. I know there's sort of there's a big gash on the head and the eyes and so forth. Nah, a couple yeah. of weeks and you could probably fight with them anyway. They'll heal up by then. So <laughs> we'll see. Supposedly Conor McGregor is calling me a little shard or something. I don't know. You think he's off his head, but um, whatever. You know, if he wants to come down to 45, that'd be good. If he wants me to move up to 155, yeah. while we're waiting for this next fight, I think you know you got Yair and Max that want to fight. Man, I want to fight regularly. It's been way too long in between fights. Get me in there. If it's got to be 155, let's do it. And then we'll fight whoever wins that fight. What do you think provoked Connor to, to call you a, a little whatever it was? It, the tweet, obviously, you're referring to that went out tonight. <laughs> Probably alcohol and, and whatnot. <laughs> I mean, look, Connor McGregor <laughs> fights a big moneymaker for, for a lot of people. Have some fun. You yeah. enjoy your night. I will too. <laughs> Absolutely. And talking about Yair and Max Holloway, who do you see winning that one? 
Uh, I mean, Max. I think Max, uh, uh, yeah, Rodriguez is obviously very talented. Uh, stylistically, though, I think Max is, uh, you know, with the pressure and getting his face and because uh, yeah, is very good out of range and, you know, if you, if you let him do his thing, but Max ain't going to let him do his thing. And uh, Max is going to fight the right fight for that one. So I'm, I'm picking Max for that. Okay, and a trilogy is something you'd welcome? I think that's exactly what's going to happen. So, uh, mate, I'll, I'll be ready. <laughs> absolutely. Well, tonight was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, enjoy that 50. We're going to get a paycheck for that one too, yeah? All right, there you go. Well, you got the 50K bonus tonight. Enjoy that. You said you're going to get Rolex? Rolex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> Mr. said, go get a Rolex for your birthday. My birthday on Sunday. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, congratulations tonight. Happy birthday for Sunday. Enjoy Vegas tonight. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in there soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>